guys, y'all hello. I'm not gonna find Miku back again. And right now, I'm just taking some me time. It's one of those days I felt like having a me day. So right now, I'm at, what the hell is this place again? Oh yeah, I'm at Cooper Square thing, not too far from Astor Place in the city. And I'm just walking around. I did a little shopping. And I'm a bit, I'm just a tiny bit tired. But I'm actually about to go home after I go get me two slices of pizza back on, um, what was it? Six, I think it's either fourth or third um, street. Because right now I'm at Cooper Square, which is right here. Let's see. But I really just wanted to take some time off. I'm just, you know, some of the days is nothing personal. I don't really want to be with anyone else or hang with anyone. I just take my time and I enjoy my day, you know out by myself and everybody needs days like that you know and I always say I'm gonna do it more often I'm thinking I really do need to do it more often maybe like once a month or maybe two times out of the month depending on how I'm feeling so as I mentioned I did a, um, a bit of shopping I got a couple of things so when I get home I'll do a video on that shut up bus mail out <laughs> uh, but I'm actually about to cross over to the street then I'm going to get me some pizza from my favorite pizza joint here in the city. Well, at least one of them. It's a 99 cent pizza place, so you know it's going to be good. I think I get, might get about two slices or so, just so I can feel full. Maybe one or two. I'll see how I'm feeling. But I'm actually about to cross the street here, if you can see. It's a lot of traffic, big buildings, and everything. But you know me, I'm always a city girl. I'm always in the city. And I might probably do more of these walk and talk sessions while I'm about to cross the street. So. At least I have the light. And for those of y'all who know me, I walk super freaking fast. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking I might do like a walking, maybe like a like walking tour of like some my neighborhood, maybe not the whole thing, but the places I like to go. We'll see how that goes. You need time for that. So, right over there is Video Games New York. That's like one of my favorite game stores ever, next to JNL. You can find some pretty good games over there. So. Excuse me, pardon my fridge for being so tired. I'm just really out of it because I've been struck. I don't want to like put all my business out there, but I've been struck. So I'm just gonna put it out there. I've been struck. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. So I ain't gotta go into any more detail. So that's the reason why I'm feeling a little <laughs> you know. So even so, there was this, um, when I, I went to Barnes and Nobles, Barnes and Nobles is one of the places that I went today to get this book I've been looking for. Like I said, when I get home, I'll show you um, the things I bought today for myself because I kind of rewarded myself. I did a reward system. I, I strongly believe in the reward system. If you do something good or you reach a goal, you get a reward. So that's what I did. I treated myself. I got something that I, some things that I really, really wanted that I had my eye on for a while. But I said, once I get my license, then I'll get it. It's nothing too pricey, you know. It's like books and um, two games about that. So that's what I got for myself because I didn't get to do it last week um, because I had so much stuff to do and I was a little bit low on cash. But now that I have some, I went. I got what I wanted because I passed my test. So, yeah, there's some guy over there pushing carts. If you can, well, I can't really see him. He already fall gone, but yeah. <clears throat> so since I passed my road test, I rewarded myself with what I wanted. And I'm a high believer in the reward system. If you reach a goal, I think you should treat yourself. That's just the way I feel. I don't know if anyone else feels the way I do, but that's the way I feel. If you can, do it. You really reach the goal that you've really been wanting to reach, treat yourself. Go out to dinner. Buy yourself something you wanted for a long time. That's what I do. I'm about to cross another the street before I get to the pizza joint. <sighs> Seeing if it's clear. Is it clear? Yes. Remember, boys and girls, always look both ways before crossing the street. Here we go. 
freaking bum asking to help him out asking to help out if you have if you're not from new york and you're from someplace else and you're um maybe gonna visit new york someday just be prepared for a lot of begging because there's a lot of people who like to ask you for change that you don't have it's really annoying here's another awesome store toy tokyo it's a great store it has so many vintage toys and everything really cool place i haven't been in there in a while but next time i come over here i'll definitely stop by and see what they got in there they got skateboarding over there down the street about New York it's a very awesome place I'm proud of where I come from I mean every place has its good and bad so I can't really complain too much there's another skateboarder over there skateboarding has become a lot more popular nowadays huh Wait, right, crossing another street y'all over here's a lot of um, streets right now I don't have the light though I'm only gonna do this video up to when I get my pizza and then I'll cut it, well, when I get there, because pizza plate, that's the next block. After I cross this street, I'll be there, so then I'll end the video. There's a cop car over there. Oh, God, is that NYPD? Ah! <laughs> they're coming to get me. They knew I stole the Reese's from that store. Oh, God, they're right in front of me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I didn't steal anything. Y'all know me. <laughs> now I just pull it off. <laughs> they were looking at me funny, though. He's like... He probably knew it was me. I, he's, he called me Reese Sandy. You know I stole the Reese from that bodega. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I have never stolen, just so y'all guys know. I would never do that. <laughs> anyway, we're almost here. There's a place here called Brick Lane Curry. I remember it from Man vs. Food because Adam Richman actually took the, the, the fall challenge. I remember that. I don't know how many of you watch Man vs. Food, but he took that challenge and it, that shit was crazy. I never ate there, but maybe one day. And I am almost toward the pizza place. Right there is the 99 cent pizza. This is the place I always come to when I come over here, so I'm about to get me a quick bite to eat. After that, I will be going back to my hometown of Brooklyn to relax because I'm very tired. Very, very tired. And one poor person asked for change, I swear I'm smacking. Anyway, I don't know what restaurant I'm standing in. Oh, this is a different restaurant. But anyway, guys, I'm in the video here so I can go get a bite to eat. And then, like I said, I'm going home. I'll stay tuned because I'll be doing another video of the things I bought for myself. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed a short walk and talk with me. I really hope you enjoyed it because I did. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all that jazz. You already know. I ain't got to tell y'all. <laughs> so anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next vid. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying, Bye guys!